What's up everybody? I'm Brian from Adidas. Wait a minute, no. I'm Brian from I1 Tesla, but I've been here at the track for so long I had to change my clothes. And today I have all three cars. Model 3, Model Y, Model X, and we're gonna compare the back seats. Now I am kind of a giant. I'm six foot five, so you know, me being in the back seat, that doesn't happen very often. But I got these three to compare. Now they are all performance cars. That's a Performance 3, Performance Y, and a Performance X. Raven Performance X. And of course, yes, we did zero to 60 and quarter mile runs. That'll be coming, or if I haven't done that already, check that video out. It'll be linked up here and pretty cool. So first, I wanna take a look at the Model 3. And yes, these cars are lived in. We're not a detail shop, so we are gonna have some filth in it. And this is pollen season in North Carolina, so don't mind the yellow dust everywhere. So Model 3, I have the front seat to where it would be comfortable for me to sit. And now I'm going to get in this seat. All right. I'm in the passenger or I'm in the back seat of a performance Model 3. You see my legs are up kind of high. The seat is, I got plenty of room here. This is actually really comfortable to sit here. The seat is nice and soft. I have a little bit of headroom. I have a maybe about two fingers of headroom before my head hits the glass. The problem is I sit so low, my knees are up so high. But again, I am very tall, I'm six foot five. So yes, a six foot five person can fit in the back of a Model 3. But should you buy a Model Y? Would you have more room? Let's answer that question. So Model Y, black seats. You can already see that the seats are up a little bit higher. So obviously that's gonna give me more leg room. My knees aren't gonna be up so high. So this seat is set to where I was sitting before. My legs are dropped down much farther. I don't feel like my knees are up in my chest. And let's talk about headroom. How much headroom do I have? I have four fingers of headroom in the back of a Model Y, plenty of room. This also has room for my feet down below where this would be really comfortable on a long trip. Not that I would wanna be back here in a long trip. I would wanna be in behind the wheel of autopilot. <laughs> but with the door closed, still plenty of room. I don't feel confined at all. This glass roof makes it say, seem very spacious. You know, my head doesn't really, I, if I lean way back, I can use this as a headrest. Plenty of room here, easy to get in and out of. The door opens up nice and wide, but I really love the fact that this is so low, my knees don't feel like they're in my chest. I mean, look at, look at how much room I have here. This is really nice how it, it's easy to get in, in and out a lot like the Model 3, but I have a Model X over here, so let's go see it. Of course, you can see the giant doors, easy to get in and out of, lots of room here. Again, I'm six foot five, easy to get in and out. With the door out of the way, there's just that much more room in here. The only thing I don't like is this is really close to me. And when this door comes down, it's really confining, uh, but there is a lot more room. This reclines more than the Model Y, and I have a lot more leg room but again, my knees sit up kind of high. This seat sits really low, so my knees are up in my chest, it feels like, a lot like the Model 3. So the Model Y is a very good compare, or a very good middle between the two. It's like a, a little baby of the Model 3 and the Model X. The, so is the rear seat, so it's very nice. So what we have here is, when we come inside, you can see I have a lot of room. This is really huge here, but when I close the door, this is really confining. It really, I mean, it's really cool. Don't get me wrong. This is really cool how this does this, but this is a lot closer on me than it is in the Y. I still have enough leg room and it still is reclining, but you, I mean, you can't beat these, these doors. These doors are amazing, but I mean, this again, this is easy to get in and out of. We just stand up. These doors might, uh, these doors might sometimes hit people, but they are amazing. And I do have my daughter here to kind of compare. She is very tall as well, but still a normal kid size. Look, I got flowers. Very nice. Are those for me? <laughs> yes. Thanks. We'll. Uh, you can put them in your hair. Thank you. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll save these for later. We'll put them right here. But this is my daughter. She's what? Five. Uh, ten ish. Five ten ish. So. 
have a seat in the Model X and we'll go backwards in order. Obviously, a lot of room for a kid, a, a tall kid, but a lot more room than I had. Now jump in the Model Y. Oh wait, should I get in the driver's side? That's fine. Okay. There's, there's three seats back there. So you can see there's a lot of room in there. How are the seats? Are they comfortable? Are they hard? Are they firm? They're how's, comfortable. How's your headroom? I have a lot of headroom and the seats are comfortable. They're more comfortable than the three you had. Really? Well, I had version one seats. Oh. So with that in mind, go jump in that one. That has version two seats. So these are more cushy version two seats in the model three. Yeah. Are those better than the ones I had? Uh, kind of? Yes, I don't know. They yeah, are. they are. <laughs> they they are. I didn't want to say the wrong answer. They are. They're more comfortable. <laughs> But how's your headroom compared to the Y? Uh, there's a little more headroom in the Y. Yeah, that's what I had too. Does it feel like your knees are up higher as well? Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. A little bit? All right. Well, thank you, Ashley, for helping the scientific yeah. study here. And all right. <laughs> so we've got a debate going on over there. What's best? I personally think the Y. I think the Y is winning. Yes, the Model X is pretty cool, but the Model Y seats are way more comfortable. I feel like there's more room in there. It's spacious with the glass roof and the door armrest. There's just, it doesn't feel claustrophobic. I think it's almost unanimous. Karen likes her Model X better, but it is a great car. It's an amazing car. I think any family, this is the best family car that Tesla makes. Best family car Tesla makes, by far. As always, stay awesome, stay positive. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.